Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best 4K TVs under $500. Starting at number 5. Hisense U6K. Hisense is a brand that's all about providing value for your dollar, hence why the U8K is so highly rated on Tom's Guide. The Hisense U6K keeps a lot of what makes the U8K so great, namely its mini-LED backlight that enables better contrast with above-par black levels and a quantum dot filter for enhanced color saturation. The Hisense U6K trades the U8K's native 120Hz panel for one with a 60Hz refresh rate, but, considering that this TV is often priced below $500, it's a trade-off most folks should be fine with. So why isn't this one the best TV of the year if it's such a good value? The U6K doesn't have as powerful of a processor on board, which means that upscaling and motion processing are mediocre at best. Its lack of any HDMI 2.1 ports means gamers will be stuck at 4K 60, and there's no ATSC 3.0 tuner here either. For under $500, it's the best cheap TV we think you can buy, but it's important you know why it's sitting down here on our list instead of at the number one spot. Design, admittedly, the Hisense U6K probably isn't the chicest TV you're ever going to lay eyes on, its legs are plastic and 3.1 inches deep, it doesn't sit exactly flat on the wall. Still, I don't think it looks awful either, especially when you're actually watching something on the TV. The bigger issue in terms of design is the HDMI 2.0B ports and 60Hz panel that won't maximize the graphical prowess of the Xbox Series X and PS5. If you're not a gamer, this isn't a huge deal, but it's something that we noted in our review. Coming at number 4. Samsung QN90C Neo. The Samsung QN90C is the Swiss army knife of TVs. It's good at basically everything, from upscaling content to boosting brightness, and it's available in pretty much every screen size fathomable. Whether you want a 43-inch telly for your office or guest bedroom, or you need an 85-inch behemoth for your living room, you can find a QN90C model to match. Like our top picks, the Samsung QN90C uses mini-LED for better contrast and a higher peak brightness. Unlike our other top picks it has a slightly faster input latency and four full-spec HDMI 2.1 ports that can pass 4K-120 Hz signal that make it a better pick for gamers. The downside here is that you're paying a lot more for this slight improvement on performance and its lackluster Tizen smart platform. It's still worth considering for all those extras, but it doesn't exactly provide the best value compared to our top picks. Design, visually, the Samsung QN90C won't blow you away, its pillar stand is a bit ugly compared to other screens that use two wide feet, and its minimalistic design doesn't do much to separate itself from the pack. The major difference between the QN90C and the slightly pricier QN95C model is Samsung's one connect box that helps hide the wires running into the back of the TV. For a cleaner look, the QN95C really nails it, but you can achieve a similar effect on the QN90C with some carefully placed zip ties. The good news is that the QN90C has four HDMI 2.1 ports, one of which can be used as the eARC port for soundbars. For gamers, HDMI 2.1 ports enable 4K-120 Hz pass-through as well as auto low latency mode and variable refresh rate. At number 3. TCL QM8 Mini LED TV. It was a really close call between the Hisense U8K and the TCL QM8. Both TVs are extraordinary values for the money, and while we do think the Hisense U8K is the overall better pick, the TCL QM8 deserved a spot on our list as well. Like the Hisense U8K, the QM8 uses Mini LEDs for better backlight control and quantum dots to enhance contrast and color. With up to 2,300 local dimming zones and TCL's High Brightness Ultra Direct LED Backlight, you're going to get unbelievable contrast for an LED LCD TV. We also really like the AIPQ Engine Gen 3 that helps upscale HD SDR content for the QM8's 4K screen as well as the TV's numerous gaming features. The only major drawbacks here are the TV's 8W speakers that can feel a bit underwhelming and the lack of an ATSC 3.0 tuner that can be found in the Hisense U8K. 
The latter isn't a deal breaker, especially if you don't plan on using a digital antenna, but its absence is still felt here. Design The QM8 may not have the beautiful slim design of the LG G3 OLED, but it's certainly not a bad design either. Its minimal bezel that measures in a less than an eighth inch on all sides maximizes screen real estate. Beneath the bottom of the screen are physical controls as well as a switch for turning on or off the far-field microphone. The TCL QM8 offers four HDMI ports, however only two of them are HDMI 2.1 compliant, meaning you'll have to choose which devices can pass 4K slash 120Hz signal and which ones can't. Number 2 of my list LG G3 OLED LG OLED TVs are always at the top of best TV guides, and Tom's guides list is no different. This year, we're recommending the LG G3 OLED as the top choice, as it uses the new meta panels from LG Display for higher levels of brightness. On top of higher brightness that aids in daytime viewing, you're still getting perfect blacks levels, infinite contrast and the wide color gamut we've seen year after year from OLED TVs. In short, this is just a super souped-up OLED TV. In terms of features, all of LG's OLED TVs use WebOS, which we find easy to use and very responsive. The Wii-like remote control can take some getting used to, but it feels great in the hand and is harder to lose than other smaller remotes you might be used to. Best of all, though, is the design of the TV, which really has a gallery-like appearance to it. If you want a TV that seamlessly blends in with your decor, this is the model to go for. So what's the downside? The LG G3 OLED is the most premium for k OLED TV in LG's lineup, and that comes with a pretty hefty price tag. You're paying for the best performance and your wallet will sting after purchasing one. Design, in terms of design, the LG G3 OLED is unmatched. It's the most beautifully crafted OLED TV on the market with an impossibly thin screen. The bezel is the slimmest we've ever seen, less than 1 16th of an inch, and it helps really sell the look of a framed picture. It's worth noting, however, that the LG G3 OLED is designed to be wall-mounted and doesn't come with a stand. There's one available, but it will cost extra. If you want something that looks good on a shelf, the LG C3 OLED listed further down the page has a similar look and comes with a stand in the box. And number 1. Hisense U8 K Yule TV The Hisense U8 K sits at the top of our list of the best TVs because it offers an incredible bang for your buck. Its deep, rich colors, high level of contrast and high peak brightness put it well above any other TV at this price point. What's more, we find this TV works in almost any living room, even one with lots of ambient light. Thanks to its mini-LED lighting, colors don't desaturate as you move off-axis, and its full-array local dimming panel helps the TV retain good black levels in scenes with higher levels of brightness. In our testing, we measured its color saturation levels at a groundbreaking 80% of the REC 2020 color space, all thanks to its quantum dot filter and mini-LED panel. In short, the U8K performs like a TV twice the cost. So why doesn't it get a perfect 5 out of 5 score from us? Well, it does have its faults, as you'd expect from any TV under $1,000. It has a middling input lag, 13.2 milliseconds, and its Google TV smart platform can be slightly slow when when jumping from one streaming app to another. Also, although the TV has a very wide color gamut, its accuracy right out of the box is around 4.46, measured by a delta E value. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.